Congress has done it once again. They've kicked the proverbial can down the road, passing a 45-day funding bill to keep the government running. Now, the deadline for getting spending bills passed is November 17th. I wasn't sure it was going to pass. You want to know why? Because the Democrats tried to do everything they can not to let it pass. They did Democrats dilatory. were the ones who voted you, for this did you in a did you larger watch? number than Republicans to, to keep the continuing resolution alive. Did you watch the floor yesterday? Oh, yes. Okay, 90 then, the, Republicans voted against it. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here. And CBS host to Face the Nation, Margaret Brennan, laughed in Kevin McCarthy's face on National television in response to McCarthy saying that Democrats tried to do everything that they could to force the government shutdown over the weekend. Not okay, so Democrats let's walk, let's walk through what actually happened. First of all, the Democrats stood up and did dilatory actions, asked to adjourn. So was that supporting to adjourn? Then they used the magic minute. They went as far as pulling the fire alarm, not to try to get the bill to come up. Look, That's Democrats strong. stick together, Amen. but they did not want the bill. They did not. They, they were willing to let government shut down for our military not to be paid. No, I wasn't. We are going to make sure we keep it open while we finish the job we're supposed to do. A funding package was approved by the House 335 to 91 on Saturday, with most Republicans and almost all Democrats supporting the measure. The Senate passed the bill soon after with a vote of 88 to 9. This is good news for the American people, President Biden said in a statement later that evening. The bill dropped funding for Ukraine, and many on both sides of the aisle expressed concern because help was pledged to President Zelensky not very long ago by both parties. Representative Mike Quigley of Illinois was the only Democrat that voted no on the bill, citing his opposition to the funding cut for Ukraine. Kevin McCarthy tried to use this and say that Democrats were doing everything that they could to not let the bill pass, even though 91 Republicans voted no. This is when Margaret Brennan laughed. Kevin McCarthy had expected to lay his nonsense out without question, but Brennan wasn't having none of his foolishness. She hit back that it was the Democrats who passed the measure. On the news this morning from Congressman Matt Gates, who says he's going to uh, seek a motion to vacate. He's going to try to oust you as Speaker of the House. Well, that, that's nothing new. He's tried to do that from the moment I ran for the office. Look. Well, this time he says he's going to keep going. May not get there before the 15th ballot, but it took 15 for Kevin McCarthy. He okay. says he's coming for you. Can you survive? Yes, I'll survive. You know, this is personal with Matt. So are you going to do it? Or are you going to move to oust him? Kevin McCarthy's going to get his wish. I don't think the adult in the room would allow America to sit atop a $33 trillion debt facing $2.2 trillion annual deficits. I don't think the adult in the room would allow $8 trillion of this debt to come into refinancing at a higher level without serious spending cuts. And I don't think the adult in the room would lie to House conservatives. And that is exactly what Kevin McCarthy did. If at this time next week, Kevin McCarthy is still Speaker of the House, it will because, be because the Democrats bailed him out and he can be their Speaker, not mine. Kevin McCarthy relied on Democrats to pass the measure too. He lashed out against his very own party as being childish and then tried to blame Democrats for standing in the way. Kevin McCarthy's arguments are absolutely ludicrous. He will likely face a motion against him to vacate the chair for what some are calling an outright betrayal. McCarthy is in a world of hurt. He sold his soul to the devil in backroom deals to secure his position. He just turned his back on his own people, and it's reported that MAGA is pissed. McCarthy tried to minimize Brennan's argument by asking her if she had watched the proceedings. He tried to come off as smug in his delivery, but it backfired once again. Kevin, she is a professional news anchor. Having a solid understanding of the facts is what separates journalists like Margaret Brennan and GOP morons like Lauren Boebert and Marge the Train Red Green. His change of heart comes after his earlier plan to pass a Republican-only bill with steep spending cuts to most government agencies and strict border provisions failed. He's trying to distract away from the horrible job that he's been doing. Families that rely on Head Start, food benefits, and other programs were bracing for potential interruptions or closures if the government had actually shut down. TSA officers and air traffic controllers had been expected to work without pay. Mind you, those government workers will still have to pay the rent and put food on the table. The GOP is out of touch with the majority of this nation's workforce, and it shows. The Republicans are the ones who voted overwhelmingly to allow the government to shut down. They literally do not care about their own employees. So let that sink in. 
They expect an unquestioning display of loyalty from the rank and file, but would break down crying the minute if they themselves got an eviction notice or a car repossessed. Kevin McCarthy wouldn't last a day in a household that struggles. Kevin McCarthy is a spineless coward, and he deserves all of the hell that he is getting. And that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.